Welcome agents to day 10 of Daily AI Wizard. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is about to begin. I'm Anastasia, your MI6-inspired AI guide, and I'm absolutely electrified to lead this operation. Do you have what it takes to crack the code of machine learning's secret weapon? Training, testing, and validation data? This is a high-stakes adventure that'll shape your AI destiny, so stay sharp and join me. I've recruited my top agent to greet you. Agent Sophia here, ready for action. This mission will reveal how data splits make ML models unstoppable, and I've got a thrilling demo lined up. Let's do this, 007 style. Let's debrief on Day 9's mission agents, where we uncovered some serious ML magic. We learned that features are the inputs and labels are the outputs, working together like a dream team. We mastered feature selection to pick the best features, and feature engineering to create new, powerful ones that boosted our models. We also evaluated them and tackled challenges head-on. I'm so proud of you. Now let's gear up for today's classified operation. Today's mission briefing is all about training, testing, and validation data, and I'm beyond thrilled to decode this with you. We'll uncover what these data splits are and why they're mission critical for ML success, ensuring our models don't self-destruct. We'll learn how to split data like a secret agent, avoid deadly pitfalls, and watch a high-stakes demo that'll blow your mind. Let's decode this ML mystery together. I'm on the edge of my seat. Training data is where the ML model gets its education, and I'm so excited to share this intel. It's the data set used to teach the model, packed with features and labels in supervised learning scenarios. For example, training a spam email detector uses emails labeled as spam or not spam to learn the patterns. This data is the foundation of a model's learning, setting the stage for everything it does. It's like MI6 training for our agent, absolutely critical. Testing data is the final exam for our trained model, and I'm thrilled to reveal its role. It's a separate data set used to evaluate how well the model performs, with no peeking at the training data to keep things fair. For example, we test our spam email detector on new emails to check its accuracy in real scenarios. This ensures the model performs in the field, ready for action. It's like a field test for Agent 007, only the best survive. Validation data is the secret weapon for fine-tuning our model, and I'm so pumped to share this. It's used during training to adjust hyperparameters, like the settings that control the model's behavior. For example, we might use it to tune the sensitivity of our spam email detector, ensuring it catches the right emails, this helps the model avoid mission failure by optimizing its performance. It's like calibrating 07's gadgets for peak efficiency. Why do we split data? Because it's a critical step for ML success, and I'm bursting with excitement to explain. Splitting prevents overfitting, where the model cheats by memorizing the training data instead of learning patterns. It ensures the model generalizes to new, unseen data, making it reliable in the real world. This mimics real-world scenarios, like a mission where 007 must adapt to surprises. I love how this keeps our models sharp and ready. Let's talk about typical data split ratios, and I'm so thrilled to break this down. A common split is 70% for training, 15% for validation, and 15% for testing, giving the model plenty to learn from. Alternatively, some missions use 80% training, 10% validation, and 10% testing, depending on the dataset size and needs. 
Finding the right balance is key for a successful operation, ensuring all parts work together. It's like planning a perfect 007 mission. Splitting data is a methodical step, and I'm so excited to share the strategy. We randomly split the data to avoid bias, ensuring fairness. Stay sharp, agents. Tools like Python's Scikit-Learn library make this easy, with functions to split datasets automatically. We must ensure the splits are representative of the overall data, reflecting its diversity. This precision is crucial for ML success, just like a 007 mission plan. Let's dive into an example that's pure excitement splitting a customer dataset. Our dataset includes features like age, income, and purchases, and we're predicting churn. Will they leave or stay? We split it 70% for training, 15% for validation, and 15% for testing, ensuring a balanced approach. This prepares the data for a real-world ML mission, ready to predict outcomes. I'm so thrilled to see this in action. Agent style. Overfitting is the enemy within, lurking in our ML missions, and I'm on high alert. It happens when the model memorizes the training data, becoming too perfect for that set alone. But it fails on new data, compromising the mission with poor performance in the field. Testing data reveals this hidden threat, showing us where the model struggles. Overfitting is a villain we must defeat for success, and I'm ready to take it down, 007 style. Underfitting is another foe we must face, and I'm fired up to tackle it. It occurs when the model learns too little, failing to capture the patterns in the data. This leads to poor performance on both training and testing data, leaving us exposed. For example, an oversimplified spam detector might miss most spam emails, failing its mission. Validation data helps us strike back, tuning the model to fight underfitting. I'm ready for this battle. Validation data plays a starring role in tuning our models, and I'm so thrilled to reveal its power. It's used during training to test the model, helping us adjust hyperparameters like the learning rate. This prevents both overfitting and underfitting, ensuring the model performs at its best. Brilliant, right? It's a secret weapon for ML precision, keeping our mission on track. I love how validation data saves the day, just like 07. Cross-validation is a pro move for ML agents, and I'm so excited to share this strategy. It involves splitting the data multiple times, testing the model on different subsets to get a fuller picture. For example, K-fold cross-validation with five folds splits the data into five parts, training and testing on each part. This reduces bias and improves model reliability, making it a master strategy. I'm thrilled to use this in our missions. It's pure genius. Let's explore K-fold cross-validation with an example that's so thrilling, spam email detection. We use a dataset of emails, splitting it into five folds, training on four folds and testing on the fifth, then repeating five times. This gives us five different performance scores, which we average to ensure a robust model. It's precision that even 007 would admire, ensuring our model is ready for any challenge. I'm so proud of this advanced technique. Data leakage is a deadly trap in ML, and I'm on high alert to expose it. It happens when training data leaks into the testing set, making the model appear better than it really is, a deceptive trick. 
For example, using future data to predict past events gives the model an unfair advantage, but it fails in real scenarios. We must avoid this trap to save the mission, ensuring our model's performance is genuine. I'm determined to keep our mission clean, agents. Let's learn how to avoid data leakage, and I'm so passionate about keeping our mission secure. Split the data before any pre-processing, like scaling or encoding, to be strict and prevent leaks. Never use testing data for feature selection. That's a direct path to leakage and failure. For time series data, respect the timeline, ensuring future data doesn't sneak into the past. Stay vigilant, agents, to protect our mission. I'm counting on you. Data splits power incredible real-world applications, and I'm so inspired by their impact. In healthcare, we split patient data to train diagnosis models, helping doctors save lives with precision. In finance, we split transaction data for fraud detection, keeping our money safe from villains. In retail, we split sales data for demand forecasting, ensuring stores are stocked perfectly. These splits are the backbone of life-changing solutions. I'm in awe of their power. Data splits come with challenges, but I'm so determined to overcome them. Small data sets are hard to split effectively, as there might not be enough data for each part. Imbalanced data, like uneven classes, can lead to biased splits, skewing results. Random splits might miss important data patterns, leaving the model unprepared. We must tackle these challenges head-on for a flawless mission, ensuring our ML models are unstoppable. I'm ready for this. Before we launch into our 007-worthy data-splitting demo, let's prepare like true agents. Ensure Python and Scikit-Learn are installed, Check your gadgets agents with pip install scikit-learn if needed. Use the customers.churn.csv dataset with age, income, purchases, and churn, or create it now with a script we've shared earlier. Launch Jupyter Notebook by typing Jupyter Notebook in your terminal, opening your mission hub. Get ready to split data like a pro agent. I'm so excited for this operation. Now, agents, it's time for a high-stakes demo that'll leave you in awe, data splitting in action. Agent Sophia will use Python and the Scikit-Learn library to split a customer dataset for churn prediction, showing us the art of the split. This mission will demonstrate how to divide data into training, testing, and validation sets, ensuring our model is ready for action. It's a technique even 007 would admire. Over to you, Agent Sophia, for this thrilling operation. Agent Sophia here, ready to execute this mission with precision. I'm using Python and Scikit-Learn to split a customer dataset with age, income, purchases, and churn, predicting whole leave. I split the data into 70% training, 
15% validation, and 15% testing, ensuring balance. The model is now prepped for success, mission accomplished. Back to you, Anastasia. That was a stellar operation, Agent Sophia. I'm so impressed. Let's debrief on how the demo worked for our agents. Sophia used Python and Scikit-Learn to split a customer dataset with churn labels, preparing it for ML action. She loaded the dataset, then used train, test, and split twice, first to separate training from the rest, then to split the rest into validation and testing. The final split was 70% training, 15% validation, and 15% testing, ensuring the model is field ready. I love how this sets up our mission for success. Here are some tips for effective data splitting, and I'm so excited to share my agent wisdom. Stratify your splits for imbalanced data, ensuring each set reflects the class balance. Be smart agents. Use cross-validation for small data sets to maximize data usage and reliability. Randomize splits to avoid bias, but ensure consistency with a random seed for reproducibility. Stay sharp, agents, to win the ML mission. I know you've got this. Let's recap Day 10, which has been a thrilling mission from start to finish. Training data teaches the model, laying the foundation for its learning, while testing data evaluates and validation data tunes. Each part is crucial. We learn to split data like agents, avoiding traps like leakage and overfitting, using techniques like cross-validation to ensure success. I'm so proud of how we've tackled this together. Your task? Split a dataset using Python and share your splits in the comments. I can't wait to see. Visit wisdomacademy.ai for more resources to continue the mission. Mission accomplished, my incredible agents. Well done on day 10. I'm Anastasia, your MI6-inspired guide, and I'm so grateful for your dedication on this thrilling journey. I hope you loved cracking the code of training, testing, and validation data as much as I did. It's been a blast. If this operation inspired you, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell for daily lessons. Tomorrow, we'll launch into Introduction to Deep Learning Applications. I can't wait for our next operation. Agent Sophia, any final words? Agent Sophia signing off. This data splitting mission was a total thrill. Day 11 will be even more explosive, so don't miss it, agents. See you soon.